What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have a massive amount of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks to talk about, and we're going to be talking about the gameplay progression. We now know how we're going to progress to the end of the game. We also learned the type of the Crane Pokemon and much, much more. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I appreciate it. Today's leaks came from a massive thread from Kaka, and Kaka's information was 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So starting off with Kaka saying that the second gym on the mountain is the ghost type gym. So we already knew about the ice type gym being here. This was from the official trailer, but now we know that the second gym here is the ghost gym. And we originally thought this was the psychic gym. So now we can actually move that psychic gym to a different location. But this is going to be very interesting that we have two gyms right across from each other. I wonder if we can cut through the mountain through a cave to get to this town, or maybe the mountain doesn't connect at all. And you're going to have to come from either the east side of the map to get to one gym and then the west side of the map to get to the other gym. Kaka also lets us know the recommended gym order. If you didn't know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is an open world game and we are allowed to do the gyms in any order as we please. However, there is no level scaling, meaning the eighth gym leader will still have like a level 50 Pokemon and the first gym leader will always have like a level 15 Pokemon. So if we do the eighth gym leader first and we beat them, then we beat the hardest one and everything else is going to be super easy. But the recommended order is going to be bugging grass for the first two and it says one and two meaning that there are probably going to be options. Both of these are going to be relatively in the same level. Then three and four, electric and water, so relatively in the same level. And then it's going to be normal five, six, go, seven, ice, and eight, psychic. Then going back to the image here, that confirms that, well, okay, we're going to go from the ghost gym to the ice gym if we go through the recommended game progression. Of course, we can do whatever we want. It's an open world game, and that's sort of the beauty of this game compared to other Pokemon games. And to give you guys a decent idea of what we are talking about with doing the gyms in any order, we have the locations of each gym leader already, so we know where the bug and the grass guys are. So you're going to make a decision about going east to west in the beginning of the game. And of course, different Pokemon will be spawning in different areas. So this is going to affect your team. And then from there, you can either go continuing east and continuing west more towards the outer part of the map. And you get the either electric or the water gyms. But after that point, you're going to be heading towards the north side. We're going to be hitting the normal gym, then the ghost, and then the ice gym. And it seems like this psychic area may potentially be blocked off in some way, shape, or form. I wouldn't be surprised if you need different abilities of co on and Myriadon to access some of these places. So maybe this is a place where you need to use Fly or Rock Climb to get up here with your uh, legendary Pokemon. But I can see some of these other places, like the water and the electric place, they're both on water. So maybe to access these places, you need Coridon and Myriadon to know how to surf before you can challenge those gym leaders. So yes, in theory, you can do them in any order, but you do need the ability for your Pokemon to transform. So we don't know how you get those abilities yet. It could be in a different story, or it could be by defeating gym leaders. We aren't 100% sure on that yet. And Kaka confirms that there is an alternate way to the final gym leader, which is the psychic gym leader that was on that plateau without co on or Myriadon's last riding ability. So yes, you actually don't need all of the abilities then, which is really cool. However, you will be ambushed by level 50 something Pokemon. So it's going to be really difficult to skip ahead and get to the final gym if you wanted to do that one first or in any such order. But it's going to be interesting if someone like trades you over a high level Pokemon, then you can just do it. But probably they won't listen to you because you don't have the high enough gym badges or maybe there's a way to cheese it out like in Pokemon Legends Arceus and you can just very easily capture your own high level Pokemon at the beginning of the game and then just go to the very end and try to win. In two our surprise, Kaka confirms there are no artificial blocks anywhere in the game. So you see that championship area, you can head straight there with zero badges. There is no requirement for you to challenge the Pokemon League in this game, which is really cool. And apparently the League in this game has a series of tests. So maybe not traditional Pokemon battles for every Elite Four member. Maybe there's going to be some sort of other challenge. Maybe you have to fight some boss Pokemon as well. Or maybe we do fight every Elite Four member in the Champion, but there's additional challenges on top of that. However, funny enough, there is apparently 
apparently an additional interview to become champion rank. So you may defeat the Elite Four and the champion, but you're not a champion ranked member yet until you complete the interview. And funny enough, I'm pretty sure from this confirmation from Pearl Enthusiast here, even if you beat the champion, you need all eight gym badges to actually become the rank. It'll just kick you out otherwise. So I'm sure there's going to be like speed runs and challenge runs where your goal is to beat the champion without having any badges. But you technically would have not beaten the game yet because you don't get the actual ranking of champion. But that's really funny to me in game lore wise. But essentially, yeah, if you beat the champion, you technically did beat the game, right? But the game says, nah, -uh, not today. We also learned about one of the new Titan Pokemon, which is the Crane Pokemon, which is a dark flying type. So now we know about two of the Titans typings have been confirmed. And we still think the Steel Worm is going to be a Steel type, a Mono Steel. So we got Rock Steel and now Dark Flying, which is really interesting. And honestly, Dark Flying is really great typing defensively and offensively as well. So I would not be upset and potentially could make my personal team. We also learned that some Pokemon will run very fast to try to ambush you and initiate a battle. I do wonder how fast because considering that this is a big game, we're always going to be either on our Co-Ride-On or Myriadon, and they're going to be in their bike forms. So they got to be faster than our bikes or at the very least fast enough to catch up to us. So we're going to have to see who's going to catch us, but I think that's going to be really interesting if they can make the wild an actual threat. Because I do want to feel like I'm never 100% safe in this Pokemon world. And if you run from a wild Pokemon, it will stay in the overworld. And to me personally, that means the same Pokemon that we just encountered when we run away, we run into it again, it'll be the same Pokemon, right? So part of me is thinking there's going to be overworld shinies like in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Because the Pokemon is not changing based on you encountering it and then there's a different battle screen and then potentially a new Pokemon loads in. Similar to how Sword and Shield work, you would see Pokemon in the overworld, but they weren't shiny, but then sometimes you run into them. I was like, oh, they're different because now they're shiny. So hopefully it's like Pokemon Legends Arceus and it sort of does sound like it will be in that sense. So overworld shiny hunting is going to be back again. I can't wait because I think that's the best way to hunt Chinese in Pokemon history. And then Kaka actually lets us know which Pokemon will be chasing us. And he does say that we're going to be hating these Pokemon. So we got Tauros. And yes, there is regular Tauros, normal type Tauros. But there's an additional three more Tauros forms coming to this game. And I'm surprised we actually haven't seen them officially yet. But they're going to be really exciting. So I'm really excited to see the three additional Tauros. But man, I can imagine these bulls just chasing us across the map can be very annoying. We got the Minky line, which is interesting interesting because you know primate from the anime was always an angry aggressive pokemon always chasing ash so i think that's a pretty funny one and we know that primate has a new evolution that's gonna be fighting in ghost type we saw cloth in the official trailer and we know that it ambushes its prey so it's gonna probably be hanging above like rocks and cliff sides dropping on top of us for battles one of the new dog Pokemon, so it's either going to be Fido, the Ghost Dog, or the Dark Dog. I'm going to make a guess that it's going to be the Dark Dog Pokemon. We have the Chili Pepper Pokemon that's going to be chasing us, which is a Grass and Fire type. And then the Grasshopper, which is a very first Bug and Dark type Pokemon, supposedly the Common Rider Pokemon. And I'm really excited to see what that Pokemon looks like because I think that's going to be on my team. But funny enough, I mean, think about this. Cloth is going to be falling off Eclipse with these eyeballs and just dropping on us, so... Better watch out. When you see these eyes on the rocks, watch out. Because you never know what he's going to do to us. And a really cool thing that was confirmed by Kaka, another huge feature from Legends Arceus is returning. You can throw your own Pokemon at wild Pokemon, but you can't catch them by throwing them in the overworld, right? So when you see a wild Pokemon, you can throw your Pokemon at them to initiate a battle. So I think that's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be a cool thing instead of trying to run into them that you can throw a ball at them. Let's say if you see like a shiny Pokemon, and I assume Pokemon in the overworld will eventually despawn. So if you're like afraid of making it like run away or maybe you need to sneak up on it, you can just throw your Pokemon at it to initiate the battle. I think that makes the game feel a lot more lifelike, and I'm a big fan of that. And honestly, like, I wish they added more Legends Arceus uh, content to the game, but I can accept at least some things being implemented in the Scarlet and Violet. The last thing I want to say is the sub 
legendaries. The four dark type sub legendaries are not part of the main story. So that pretty much confirms to me that they are going to be part of the post game. I assume once we become champion, complete all the other stories, there is going to be a quest from the professor or whoever. And they're going to be like, hey, we have some sightings and we're going to have to go all across the map. And because there are four legendaries and there's going to be four points on the compass, I assume one is in the north, one is in the south, one's in the east, and one's in the west. So we're going to have four locations that we're going to have to scour the map. And we know they're going to be similar to like the Galarian birds in the Sword and Shield DLC, where once we find them, we actually have to go chase them and encounter them in a battle and then or in order to catch them. Well, guys, this was a huge leak update. Let me know if you are excited for the progression of this game. Personally, I am really excited for the fact that we can do the gyms in any order. And I think I do want to try a run where I try to beat the champion without any of the gym badges just to see if I can do it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new. Like the video as well. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.